Hello and welcome back to the next part in my QNAP NAS setup series. Today I'm going to talk about one of the big guns. I'm going to talk about Plex Media Server. Now this is an app that has grown exceptionally in quality and in popularity over the last few years to a point where more than a third of all NASs that are purchased are specifically for Plex Media Server. Sure, people buy them and use them as backups and cameras and other stuff in the meantime, but one of the most primary reasons out there that people are buying these devices is as a Plex Media Server. Now, there's a lot of factors that you should bear in mind, such as to do with the power and CPU of your NAS, transcoding and more, but you should watch my other Plex Media Server videos about that to learn about the ideal QNAP NAS for that setup. Today, I just want to talk to you about how to install Plex Media Server on your QNAP NAS, along with ideal folder structure and indeed the best setup for you. So without further ado, let's make our way to the QNAP user interface. I talk about these two subjects a hell of a lot on this channel and the other YouTube channel, but what I think I wanted to do today is to remind you all and indeed review how Plex adds media on your QNAP NAS. And of course, I'm going to do a complete installation from scratch on this QNAP NAS. This is the ETS251B. So for those that aren't aware, once you've got the unit up and running, go into the App Center and go to the QNAP Partners tab uh, just down here, and this will let you install the QNAP, uh, the Plex Media Server app. Uh, for those that aren't aware, after I've done this video, I will be doing the same thing here on a Synology NAS, but for now, I'm focusing on the QNAP. I'm gonna do the same thing for you guys for the WDPR2100, uh, but for now, I'm gonna focus just on the QNAP NAS. I'm gonna install the Plex Media Server app, and then I'm going to show you how to add the existing libraries of media from your QNAP NAS onto the Plex Media Server library. Now, while that does that installation, I'll show you that on the NAS, I've created a shared folder already. So what you want to do is make sure you've got a shared folder here. To do that, just pick any of these folders uh, from the default, go up here, click the plus, go to click, uh, go to shared folder, and from here, create a folder. By default, there'll be one called multimedia, but you can create a folder here, we'll just call this test. And from there, you can click create at the bottom and it will create your folder. For now, I've already created one in advance called multimedia and I've created individual folders for different kinds of things, TV shows, movies, music, and pictures. And in each of these, I've stuck individual files, but you can stick individual folders. Uh, for future reference, if you are putting TV shows, make sure the series and the episode are labeled like this. It's much easier for Plex to pick them up. If you go back, uh, we make our way back to the primary uh, directory here. We've got all these others. There's ROMs from my RetroArch um, arcade video. And I will be doing a software overview of Plex as well on a later video showing transcoding happening live. But for now, we've got the Plex Media Server app installed. It will appear here. There's Plex. And it will appear on our desktop. There it is. So why don't we open it up? It opens up a brand new tab, and the first thing it's gonna ask us to do is associate our Plex with a NAS. Now, I've already got this account signed in here, but if you don't have one, you're gonna to have to set up a brand new Plex account. So from here, you can sign up with an existing Google account, Facebook, or create a brand new account altogether. For my part, I'm gonna use that same one that we've been using in previous videos that we set up way back in the past, if I can remember the password correctly. And this should sign us into our Plex Media Server and associate it with this Plex Media Server account. So first things first, it will tell you how Plex works. And again, if you don't know, take a good moment to read these, but moving forward, click got it. And this is the latest installation for 2019. It'll ask you if you want to set up a Plex Pass for all the premium features. You don't have to do that first thing or you can go into the comments where there's links, we can set that up. Often cheaper the prices than you see on screen. From here, it lets you know that it's found your NAS on the network, it's found that QNAP NAS, which you can rename if you so choose. So I'm gonna call it QNAP NAS, and you can say whether you want to access this device directly outside of there. There was Ed on the bottom of the screen. Click next, and from here is where we want to start setting up the media library based on those folders I showed you on the QNAP NAS just now. 
with just renaming uh, the Plex Media Server in, uh, installation, so this may take an extra moment. So here we are at the adding media stage and from here what we need to do, because you don't have to do this, but it is advised you do this at this stage, it's just easier, click add library. From here select the type of media, so say we're going to go for movies, you click movies and then you can rename it from films to whatever you want. You can name it to films and movies if you choose, it doesn't really matter. From here you can click add folders and from here is when you search your NAS. Now, the directories on the left will differ depending on your NAS setup, so do bear that in mind. But this is using a default setup of the QNAP NAS. If we go into this folder here, we can find all of our shared folders. And there's our multimedia one from earlier. And from here, we can select movies. And there's the three movies I dumped in that folder. So from here, we click add. And then add to the media library. And there we are. And we can add more if we so choose. So the TV program, for example. So if we just hyphenate or just abbreviate that to TV. From there we do exactly what we just did but this time select TV shows and remember to put that um, parentheses there to make it a lot easier for the files to be sequenced by uh, Plex and again the same thing could be done we'll do one more media folder so we'll click that add to library there and then again we can do multiple folders for one um, library if we so choose. So if we've got multiple directories for music, we can select multiple, but for now, we'll pop that music one in. Once again, multimedia, music, done. Click there, and we can do individual bespoke options if we like, to sign up to other services to get thumbnails and lyrics, or other ones where we can use uh, import from iTunes and podcasts and more. So we'll leave those in there. Actually, do you know what? Let's do the last one, why not? and we'll do the sequencing of photos. Again, same directory, same one, pictures, add, add to library. So we've added these four to the library and then Plex will scan this, uh, this media and then start adding thumbnails as well as metadata. Again, you can add more apps to Plex to run different services and applications, but for a number of them, you will need a Plex media pass, Plex pass, no less. And from here, it's already started sequencing all of those TV shows and my own private photos that I've uploaded directly onto this NAS. And from here, we can now play them. We can add more files and folders. And from here, make sure you go into settings and claim the NAS server. What this does is assign this NAS to this account and therefore saves this device being used for other means. And that's it really. From here, we can carry on and this NAS will continue in the background to sequence this NAS information and of course add these TV shows so they're accessible, there's a photos as well, accessible on mobile phone devices, consoles and more. And that's it, we're done. If we go into one of these, we'll go into Mr. Bean there. And as it's sequencing, we will see a slowdown on the network and it already finds descriptions and cast information about the episode. Look at all that lovely information from something we just uploaded. But that has been how to set up Plex for the first time and add media on a QNAP NAS for 2019. After this, I'll be doing Synology and WD as well as transcoding videos. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to support this channel and I'll see you next time.